Hi, today we learn how to make use of CDS view extension. As the SAP provides multiple standard CDS view related to each functional modules like SD, MM, FI, PP, PS, etc. And along with the standard CDS view provided by SAP during our projects, we can also create different CDS view based on the project requirement. But as a requirement of the fields in a CDS view, we marry, may, uh, marry depending on the projects. So we might require to add some additional field in the existing CDS view, either standard or custom. So in such case, instead of again creating a complete new CDS view from scratch, we can use the existing CDS view with extension functionality and we can add our own field inside that. To check the standard CDS view available provided by SAP, you can visit the website api.sap.com or you can go to directly this link for the CDS view. Or second option, we can check the table DTLD dependency in the SAP. On the website, you can see different CDS view with their documentation or we can also check this table DDLD by dependency here we can either go through object name or by the object type DDL name or by the object name so for demo purpose I'm going to extend this CDSU that is ESJI SD sales document item so first have a look at the api.sap.com this is the CTS view here you can see all the standard CTS view available if you want to see detailed documentation just click on any of the CTS view check here sales document item so we can see complete document about that CTS view you can see what are the different fields are available about the data types as in the CTS view there are 67 fields out there like this we can see the complete documentation of CDS view. Second option, go to SAP, key code SE12, add table name and in the content, here I want to search for some CDS view for the sales document. So I'm going with sales view, okay let me check again not the sales view actually I want to extend this particular CDS view for demo purpose ESJI sales top item E sales top so this is the view I want to extend so first we'll check this view in the ADT that is web development tool for Eclipse like what are the fields available and from which table system is selecting the fields for that copy this name this is DTL name and this is object name to so copy the DTL name go to ADT press Control shift and A select the respective table uh, the uh, system and then press control shift and a here enter detail name so you can see a data definition double click on this so here you can see this view is selecting data from vbap with the left outer join of vbkd and vbup and you can see all the details like association projection what all logics written inside a CDS view. First, we can check by opening the respective CDS view in the LAT. Now, our requirement is we want to extend this CDS view with our custom fields. So, for that, we will creating uh, we will create a new CDS view. So, before creating the extension, first go to cell solder and check which field you want to add on the screen. So, here I am going into VS02. And in the VS02, I will show you which field I want to add. So I am extending the 
sales or line item for that i will go to line item level and in the sales a table there is the field called usage you can see there are three fields uh, three values are there replacement sample in series okay so if i select here m and if i save we'll check whether this data is coming in the existing view or not for that i will display record in ac2 l this is my order number and currently in the existing cds view i can't see the value for that users this is document header let me open document item copy the cds item table so at this line item level currently that users field is not here so i want to add the new field after the sales document rejection rejection reason okay so for that check the field name press f1 the field name is table is vbap and the field name is vkaus okay so we need to add this vkaus field in our extension view fine so now see in sc11 we have to use object name and if you are going with edit so we can go with this dtl name okay so i will copy here the dtl name i'm going to edit it to create the extend view right click new other object data definition give the name z vb ap underscore ext vb ap view extension go to next select any request if you want to transfer and here select the template as extend view click on finish in the extend view you have to provide the view name which you want to extend so i want to extend this view so this name i'll for we have need to enter here and give the sql name here zs let's say we be a a p e with this name we can search our view in the sql Let's say ext zs vbap underscore ext. Now here we need to add the field name which we want to add. Go to va zero three. Press F one on the field which we want to add. Copy the field name vkaus. Go back to edit. Here add the field name. click on save check and activate once the view is activate then you can search the view in sc12 or sc16 or sc11 with the sql view name so you can see that it is activated successfully now we'll go back to the sc12 and we'll see whether the new field is there or not This is the same uh, same view which we have extended. I am coming back again. Go to SC12. Come at the bottom. So here we can see our new field is added at the bottom. Go to display the record. Here at the right corner, we can see the new field added with the value M. 
which are in the cell certain level. So in this way, in a very simplified way, we can extend the any standard view without any access key. Point to be noted here, whenever we are extending the CDS view, the new field we can access only with the existing view name, not with the view name which we are creating, not this one, not this one too. We can access the field name with the existing CDS view only, which we have extended through the CDS view extension functionality. Now let's create a small program to display the record from this table, from this view. So this is my view name. Now I'm creating a new program in SE 38 CDS underscore view underscore ext cds view extension i'm creating a local program table cdp ap let's say select options as vb AP VP ELN sorry P underscore VP ELN for VB AP VP ELN start of selection end of selection select all from the view into added into table Enter a data gt underscore list where vbeln in s underscore vbeln sale underscore demo underscore output display gt underscore list save check vbeln now uh, here it is sales document, not the VPLN. Here it is sales document number and sort GT underscore list by sales document number. Save check. Again, this is one more error. This is not this, and we have to add the host variable at the rate. Display the record. This is the first order number where I added some value and here at the right side you can see the value as M. So let's change this value to some other. Go to change mode. Say sort of change and change the value from M to let's say S save the record go back again display the data now you can see the value is changed and here as I mentioned point to be note when we extend any CDS view we don't have to do anything with the new name which we have given we can access the new field with the existing CDS view only so in this way in a very simplified way we can extract either any standard or the custom CTS view with our requirement by adding the new fields. Thank you.